At the American Heart Association, we are working to make lasting community changes throughout Greater New Orleans. The American Heart Association is really focusing in on social determinants of health. So what are social determinants of health? It's things in one's environment that have an impact on their health outcomes. Things such as education, access to health care, access to healthy food, things like that that can really make an impact on someone's health that don't necessarily have anything to do with their genetic code. New Orleans residents have an up to 25 year gap in life expectancy dependent on the neighborhood they live in. People living in the zip code 70112 are five times more likely to die from heart disease than those living in the neighboring zip code 70113. In many ways, a person's zip code matters more than their genetic code. The American Heart Association has worked to pass policies to increase the access to healthy food in public places in both Orleans and Jefferson parishes. We've worked to develop fresh food pantries and implemented nutritional nudge interventions in food pantries and corner stores. We've also provided healthy food demonstrations and taste tests focusing on the areas of most need. Especially since you see a concentration of these low cost types of corner stores and specific zip codes, specifically uh, that have a large population of minorities, people of color, and working class people. I think it'll be, it's hard to eat healthy. Not much like farmer markets or like organic stuff, and then organic uh, food is expensive. I sacrifice financially uh, to be healthy in eating. And a lot of people live, live in food deserts, so they have to rely on these low-cost corner stores, which they shouldn't have to because those types of stores do not provide the options that are conducive for a healthy lifestyle. It's hard to access food in, that, uh, in the Lower Ninth Ward. The corner stores that's located uh, where I live, they don't have fresh produce. It looks stale and unhealthy. So I'm living in Araby, and then near Shamit, a lot of fast food restaurants nearby. And no, I don't think they have any fresh markets or organic or farmer markets in there. You have to go further to a larger supermarket to, to get what you need. And the community did not make it uh, you know, accessible for you to get the fresh fruits and vegetables that you need or for your children. We're not able to really walk to stores. Um, you know, there's highways and byways and it's just not easy to get around. And I wish that it was more walkable. We are committed to creating complete streets in our communities. These include bike lanes, sidewalks, and crosswalks to improve everyone's health by making it easier and safer to be active. The biggest health challenge is having, having tangible knowledge of how not exercising and how eating unhealthy will adversely affect your lifestyle in the long run. Obesity is rampant in our state and in our area and we're all trying to make sure that our heart is healthy. And so that's the same things that I teach when I teach nutrition. I think two main reasons causing uh, obesity is uh, um, physical inactivities and the food. We should talk about like the, the ramifications and the effects of eating you know, an unhealthy diet or not exercising. I, and I don't remember in school us being you know, taught those type of things. People don't think that physical activity is that important. They don't realize that it helps your heart and it helps your lungs and it invigorates you and just gives you everything that you really need. To just to uh, hop on my bike to get across the expressway from Ames Boulevard is really dangerous. Top priority is is bike lanes on the West Bank. There's hardly none. There's a few in Gretna and there's some in West Wego, but in Marrero and in Harvey area, there are none. People have a difficult time 
accessing parks and places to go do physical activity. I don't think have enough uh, safe facilities, areas like park, somewhere so people feel free to walk or do some physical activities. We work with many community partners to increase opportunity and ensure quality care for all of our neighbors. But there is still much more work to be done. The American Heart Association is committed to improving social determinants of health. We want everyone in New Orleans to achieve well-being supported by the places they live, learn, work, play, pray, and heal. I'm thankful that there are people who work at the American Heart Association who are passionate and wake up every day with it on their mind to make this world healthier and to educate people to make healthier lifestyle choices. Because if you don't have people like that, then ultimately we're all doomed to fail. We all deserve to live in a safe, healthy New Orleans. Let's be a relentless force for longer, healthier lives. Walk a mile. 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 In my heart.